that is really sweet. Okay, I want to eat Gehanna that. residents Aaron Isaac and Nicole Dempster are both friends and neighbors. Their kids share a bus, they share cups of coffee, and conversations. We chat every morning at the bus stop together, and I really enjoy getting to see her every day. We text, you know, when the kids are out in the yard. We build each other up, and we have parties, and we have cookouts. This is a really warm and special environment. Nicole and Aaron even get each other's mail when they know the other isn't home. Just like all friendly neighbors would. There is no sign that they are any different from your friendly neighbors. That is until you see all the signs in their yards. While Aaron and Nicole share a corner, their political views are completely opposites, and the 15 signs in their yard prove that. I feel like the signs really get our message out there and let people just know kind of where we stand and people who are similar might see them. It's just nice to have and support the candidates that we support. A lot of voters aren't as informed as I would like to be and maybe don't go out there and seek who's running and you know and compare and contrast. So if I can show my support to my candidate by having their name be more recognized, then I'm happy to do that. Just two women expressing their views free of hostility. Instead, there's a mutual respect. There's no bad blood or there's no friendly competition. I really respect, you know, the effort they put into making themselves informed voters. And I think it's important for everybody to do the same. So I really value our friendship. When I first moved here, she was the most welcoming human you could find and showed me all the places to go and answered all of my questions. And it just so happens that there's some differences too. And despite those, Aaron and Nicole feel that others should follow their lead. And instead of getting angry over somebody else's political views, embrace them. You can't make all of the people happy all the time, just some of the people happy some of the time. So, you know, whether or not you disagree, you know, or agree with each other, not everybody's going to be happy with your decisions and you may not be happy with others, but it's best to, you know, still be friendly. I just think kindness goes a really long way. And at the end of our lives, we're going to remember the kindness and the way people treated us. And our viewpoints can get so polarized that we can't make any progress and do the things that we all actually want to do together. So being uncomfortable, it doesn't help anybody, and instead being really good neighbors and really good people and allowing both viewpoints to exist, I think is the most important thing we can do. Especially in today's political climate where division and sometimes even hatred are prevalent. If you go on Gahanna social media, it's very divisive and sometimes very stressful, and I don't want to model that. For communication style, for kindness, I want to be people first, and then we get to the issues as well. If somebody has a differing opinion, you know, really look at yourself and say, hey, is it worth ruining a relationship or ruining a friendship over that? And usually it's not, because we all have different opinions. So when you reach the legal age to vote, regardless of who you support, speak out, vote, and love thy neighbor. This is Maddie White for Lincoln Live.